Before starting the installation, make sure that there is no voltage on the connection cables. Activities related to installation, connection and adjustment should be performed by a qualified electrician who has read the operating instructions and the functions of the device. The PP01 device belongs to the product line of Universal Electromagnetic Relays for box installation. The electromagnetic relay after applying the supply voltage to the terminals A1 and A2, which are the inputs of the relay coil, switches the NO, NC contacts, to the on state, and by this closes terminals 11 and 14, as long as the voltage is available the coil. Then, normally closed terminals 11 and 12 are switched on. The device's load capacity is 10 amperes, both for AC voltage, up to 250 volts, as well as for DC voltage, up to 30 volts. The device suits well once an additional pair of NO, NC contacts is needed, as well as once the modular type does not fit, due to the dimensions of the housing. It could also be used as a separator of circuits powered up with different voltages. Thanks to its small dimensions, the device fits inside a 60mm diameter electrical box, in a fence pole, or under a suspended ceiling. The PEP01 device has following terminals, A1, and A2, used to power to the relay coil. Terminal 11, which is the NO, NC relay input. Terminal 12, which is the normally closed relay output. Terminals 14, which is the relay normally open output. After applying voltage to the relay coil, the contacts are switched from terminal 12 to terminal 14, then the signal coming from terminal 11 passes through terminal 14. The maximum relay current is 10 amperes, both for AC voltage is up to 250 volts and DC up to 30 volts. The relay coil draws 10 milliamperes current. A convenient and clear description, printed with a laser method, is the device simplified manual. Compared to the dimensions of a modular relay, the device is much smaller. This enables to place the device in various, unusual places, such as, wiring box, control panel housing, gate drive housing, fence post, inside lighting fixture, Hermetic housing and other places where the standard installation relay cannot be placed due to its dimensions. In order to show the PEP01024 principle of operation, it is necessary to use a ZPM3024, This is a 24 volts and 30 watts switching mode power supply installed on a DIN rail. The output voltage could be adjusted by potentiometer. The maximum output current of the power supply is 1.2 ampere. The PEP01, 0 to 24 operation will be compared with the modular electromagnetical relay PEM02024 manufactured by Zamil as well. The relay with load capacity of 8 amperes each, 
has the single 24 volts coil, and two galvanically separated outputs parallelly operating, for example, switched on and off simultaneously. The outputs, similar like for PEP01, RNO, NC switchable relays. The device occupies one module. Full description of the parameters is located on the side panel. The double circuit switch PIM03 allows to select powered circuit. It can be used as a selector of automatic and manual mode, direction of motor rotation control, or as in this example, the PIM03 device switches two circuits. In order to show the relay operation, LKM01 power indicator will be used for display the status of the installation. The device has several color versions of LEDs. Place the ZPM30, 24 power supply on the DIN rail. Then, place the PIM03 switch next to. The device will select one of two circuits. The configuration of its terminals is shown on laser printing. Installation is facilitated by spring clips. Next, place the LKM01 power indicator. Finally, place the PEM02 electromagnetic relay. Laser printing indicates the configuration of the relay contacts. Provide the supply voltage. The phase wire coming from the circuit breaker goes both to the L terminal of the ZPM30, 24 power supply, and the L1 terminal of the LKM01 power indicator. The neutral wire goes both to the N terminal of the ZPM30, 24 power supply and to the end terminal of the LKM01 power indicator. The PEP01024 relay is designed for installing in a 60mm diameter box. However it could be installed inside the switchgear as well. The negative potential of 24 volts DC coming from the ZPM30, 24 power supply goes both to terminal A2 of the PEM02024 relay and PEP01024 flush relay. The positive potential of 24 volts DC potential coming from the terminal marked with the sign plus of the ZPM30, 24, goes to the input terminal of the double circuit switch PIM03. 
This terminal is marked as in. The switch depends of position will transfer the positive potential to the PEM02 relay or to PEP01. In the neutral position, no potential will be transferred. Phase potential coming from circuit breaker, goes to the both input terminals of electromagnetic relays PEM02 and PEP01, marked as 11. The normally open outputs of the PEM02 and PEP01 relays will supply the LKM01 voltage indicator. It will display the relay status. By providing the supply voltage to the ZPM power supply, the green LED marked as OK is on, which indicates its correct operation. At the same time, the LKM01 power indicator lights up with the L1 LED. Switch the PIM03 switch to the first position. PEP01 electromagnetic relay is supplied by 24 volts DC and switches the contacts. As a result the LKM01 phase indicator displays the third LED on. Switch the PIM03 to the second position. The PM02024 relay is activated, which provides the phase signal to the LKM01 indicator. Activation of the relay is indicated by the illuminating of the red LED and the green LED indicator. By switching the PIM03 to the neutral position, both circuits are switched off.